Today in our 2009 Toyota Corolla, we're going to be showing you how to install the Tow Ready T1 Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4 pole flat trailer connector. Part number is 118459. Here's what our wiring kit's going to look like when we pull it out of our package. It's going to be our 4 pole trailer connector. We're going to connect this to you know, our trailer, cargo carrier, whatever it is that we need to have power to the lights to. Then it's going to have a dust cover that will slide on and protect that from the elements. Now that's going to run up to our control module here in the middle. This is going to take signals from both behind our driver's side taillight housing and the passenger side taillight housing, brings them in and it converts that into a usable signal for our trailer itself. It gets its power from our 12 volt wire. This is going to run up to our battery. What this means is we won't be overloading our wiring from our lights. It's going to have its own standalone power source. Here you can see our ground wire. It's going to have a ring terminal on it. We can either use the self-tapping screw that's provided or find a already existing ground in our car there and connect that to. The box will mount in the driver's side corner behind the felt inside of our trunk. It's our 12 volt power wire. This is what we're going to run up to the battery. It'll go through the fuse holder and use the provided fuse to give us circuit protection there so we don't have to worry about harming the vehicle or the wiring itself. We also have a few other pieces of hardware here to help us with our installation. Now here in the trunk we're going to want to remove the floor coverings and then take out the rear, rear threshold cover. We've got two push pin fasteners, the one right here and one in the same spot on the other side that we'll want to remove. Then we'll pull out at the bottom and then straight up. Now we'll take the push pin fasteners out of the felt as it runs up the side. We'll have two there. And that's going to allow us the room we need to pull that back and get to our tail light connectors. We can go do the same thing over on our driver's side. Now we'll want to begin by separating our tail light connector right on the back side. Now to remove it we're going to push in on the small tab located on the back side there. Screwdriver may help in actually being able to reach it. It's kind of pinched in there. Once we've got that separated, we'll take our yellow and brown end of our plug. We're going to slide that in our factory connector. You want to hear that nice click. Then the other end simply going to plug into the other side of the T. Now here you're going to see a stud. That's going to the part that holds in our taillight lens there. We're going to be removing that and placing our ground wire right behind it. Need a 10 millimeter socket. Ring terminal will go right over there. Then we'll resecure it with the nut. Now, right down from our taillight connector on this inside edge, there's a grommet right here. This is what we're going to use for our power wire so we can route it out of the car and up to the battery. So, if we just poke on it, it'll pop out, exposing our hole. And we'll take the end of our power wire and run it into that hole. And we'll pull through enough to get it up here to our box and we can connect that to our red wire using our supplied butt connector. We're going to strip back the end of our red wire just a little bit to give us good exposed wire and do the same to the end of our 12 volt wire. Just twist there and slide on our connector and we'll get it crimped down. A good pull, make sure it's not going to separate. And right here on the back side of our trunk, there's going to be a nice flat spot. So we want to take alcohol, clean that off, and we'll also clean off the back of our box. We'll then take our double sided foam tape, place that on the back side, make sure we get it stuck on there really well. Then we'll place it on the steel there where we cleaned it off. Alright, now we'll feed through whatever slack we have from our 12 volt wire, keeping just a little bit down there for slack. We'll bring our red and green and four pole wire over into our trunk area. And pull back our panel on this side. 
and put our fasteners back in. Now we're going to take our red and green wire and we want to route this over to the passenger side. I'm going to use this existing wire loom just to kind of go around. It'll keep it up out of the way for us. Then when we put our rear threshold back in or rear scuff panel back in, it'll be tucked in behind it. Then we can plug in the same way over here. Well, our tab's going to be a little easier to get to on this side. Then any excess wire, we can simply tuck in there behind our felt wall. We'll tuck that side back in. And we replace these fasteners. Now let's also replace our rear threshold. And put the two fasteners back in it. Alright. Now we can just bundle up our four pole wire. Bring our dust cover around. And that'll keep it nice and secure. We can keep it down there out of the way replace our floor coverings and when we're ready to use it it's simply a matter of pulling it out. We we'll want it to come right over our threshold here. You'll see that nice foam weather strip that's going to give us plenty of cushion. Just want to avoid closing it in the striker area that could do damage to it. Ready to hook up to our cargo carrier or small trailer and head down the road. I'm going to make just a couple of small cuts through the middle of my grommet there. I'm going to try to pass my wire through without cutting through it completely. We can poke that wire through and then pull it through our grommet until we can fit it in underneath our vehicle. Alright, now we'll just put a little silicone on that to seal it up and we shouldn't have to worry about any dirt getting in. Now we're going to add a piece of airline tubing here. You could also use a piece of stiff wire like a coat hanger or just something to help guide this up towards the front. It tends to make it a little bit easier to secure it with a little tape. We're going to avoid any sharp edges. We want to avoid any significant sources of heat. And we're going to the front left of the vehicle, the front driver's side to where our battery is located. I'm going to run it right up over the evac canister and the other lines that are back here. That will give us a safe area. And then we'll use the provided zip ties to anchor it out anywhere we can along the way. So once we get to this point, we'll be able to run right along with the brake lines and that'll get us pretty close to where our battery is located there. And once we have our wire anchored out, we need to stay just to the left of the steering shaft here. This is in case so we won't have to worry about any rubbing or anything. And we want to go right up that direction. You'll see the bottom of your air filter box. And just in front of that is going to be your battery. Now we're going to reach down in. We we'll want to pull up our wire here. We'll bring it right under that air filter nozzle. And just take a look at it. Make sure that we're not on anything that's going to be hot or anything that might cause damage. And we're going to anchor it right off to the positive battery cable here. Then we'll get our fuse holder added in. Keep just a little bit of extra wire there. We can snip that off. See no fuse in our fuse holder right now. We're going to cut this at about the 4 o'clock position. I'm going to strip back both ends of that. Also the end of our 12 volt wire. Now to make our connection we're going to use a heat shrink butt connector that we sell here at 
E trailer. Part number is DW05745. This shrinks down and creates a watertight seal, so we won't have to worry about any kind of corrosion issues. So we've got our wires nice and secure. We'll use a lighter or a heat gun, maybe a little torch, and just let that shrink down around our wire. To the other side, we're going to add the provided ring terminal. And if we pull back our positive cover, we're going to see a large stud right there. We'll be able to mount it under. Bend that down. Get our cover pop back on. Now we'll just create a couple of small loops like we had before. Now we can slide the provided 10 amp fuse into our fuse holder and close our cover. All right, there we go. Let's head back and test out our wiring. Now to run our test, we're simply going to plug our tester in here. This is a little four pole tester from Kurt. So we'll start with our running lights. Our left blinker. Right blinker. Then our brakes. Now with everything working properly, that's gonna complete our installation of the Tow Ready T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number 118459 on our 2009 Toyota Corolla.